jumping floor. Um, depending on your floor, even if you have hardwood floors, sometimes that's just on concrete. So um, Lindsay even suggested maybe if you are gonna do them inside, maybe put some tennis shoes on so you have some cushion and support in your ankles and knees. And um, just even if you're just getting in some good sautés and first, easy change -maj. you don't have to do a whole petite allegro or grand allegro obviously that's not going to happen in the house but just get that springing motion through the feet even if you're doing this just one foot at a time really work on that springing motion through the feet to keep that up um, or maybe if you can get out in the backyard on the grass again just be careful of holes things like that i don't want you to get hurt doing it out on the grass but um, just something where you can do some jumps, even if it's turned in, swinging the arms, just that jumping motion, keeping those legs going, and like I said, that rolling and push through the feet is important. Um, now I want to show you some stuff that you can do at home. One thing I used to do at, um, when I was trying to get my splits years ago, I would turn on a show, whatever my show might be, and if we're pretending that the wall is a couch, you could lay in the front of the couch with your bottom up against the, the front of the couch. And I would kind of squeeze my legs under the cushions of the couch to kind of help keep my legs out to the side. Yeah, just get a good second stretch. And what I would do is I would watch my show while it was rolling. And then when it was a commercial, of course nowadays we skip through commercials. <laughs> when it was a commercial, I would relax, get out of this position roll over, kind of stretch things out. And then when the show came back on, I would lay down maybe in a frog or a butterfly, do a different stretch. Um, those are just some ideas, but you do have to stay in those positions for a while. That's why I would use my shows because they were typically about, I mean, that's really kind of long, 10 to 15 minutes in a position, but it seemed to really help me. And now is the perfect time that we're stuck at home to meet those goals. If you've been wanting to get your splits and you don't have them yet, or just increase that flexibility. We can never be too flexible, I don't think, but um, now's the time to do that. So work on any flexible things. Like I said, you have the butterfly, there's the frog, you can go into lunges. Yeah, this is the frog here. I mean, we, we used to even put um, little ankle weights on to help press those ankles to the floor. Just light pressure though, you guys, be careful. Um, and just don't force that, you know, a lot, a lot of people can pull some muscles in there if you're not doing it properly. Don't go crazy right away. Take it one day at a time, nice and slow. But if you're stretching every day, you're going to see an increase. Even if you don't do the whole show thing, um, just working on every day on something to increase that flexibility. It's going to help and a great opportunity to do that. Um, yeah, that reminds me, your back is super important to keep flexible as well because that's only going to help with your arabesque. So any of the stretches pushing up and trying to let go and hold is going to help. Um, we've done that in my class quite a bit where we push up, just stretch first, let it back down, push up again, to start with just one hand letting go. Um, those are simple things to help that flexibility in the back. Um, but really try as much as you work on the flexibility of it, work on the strength of it. So when you push up, like trying to let go, it's going to build up the strength to hold that position once you get that flexibility. That's just as important as the flexibility of the back. Um, I want to show a couple of TheraBand things too. Um, even if you don't have someone to help you, I used to um, tie my TheraBand around the leg of either a couch or a table, a heavy table. But um, if, Or if you have someone to help you hold, um, sorry, this just a little bit, yeah. And what you're going to do is you're actually going to, this is going to sickle. I know that's ugly, but you're working both sides of the ankle by doing this. You can start with 16 in, and then you just reverse it. If you have this tied to a table, obviously you're going to have to turn around. <laughs> but um, then you just go the other way, too, out. That one doesn't move quite as much because you're going, you're beveling that foot. But you're just working the strength on both sides of those feet. Of course, just holding on to this yourself, hold that, Lindsay, and doing the alphabet. I used to make them do capitals, you know, you go through the alphabet, or you can pick lowercase, whatever you want to do, but just write the whole alphabet with your foot as big as possible, 
that kind of stretches and warms up all sides of that ankle, all parts of the foot. Um, another thing you can do is if you stand up, Lindsay and Tommy Fred. Um, again, if you have this tied to something, you're going to have to maybe pull out a chair. If it's tied to a table, you're going to have to pull out a chair, pull onto the back of a chair here. But this is going to be around your ankle, and you're going to work on just squeezing into first with that resistance of the TheraBand. Again, you can do this front, side, and back. You can do it all directions. So turn side so they can see what that looks like. And you would do Tondi side, same thing here. Have that resistance pulling in. That's working your inner thighs, which is what's gonna help you hold that extension when you let go of your leg and all is to come. She can also do this to the back. Yep, squeezing it in. Sorry, I'm pulling really hard. <laughs> Um, so those are some things you can do. You can also tie the ends of your TheraBand into a knot, and then you can stand on one side, and then your other foot is going to go up at the top of the knot around your ankle. I kind of wrap it around, like circle around with it. Yeah, there you go. And then pull it up nice and tight. Go to passe, and you just have that resistance, and you try to pull up higher, up higher. It's, again, it's not going to move very far. Just make sure you're not letting the hip come up. You're just working this muscle under here to pull up and squeezing your bottom, of course. Yeah, that's a good one. You can do that on both sides. Um, those are just some simple things you can do. Again, a nice simple thing to work the muscles in the feet, especially for those people wanting to go up on point soon or just be getting points. You can lay this out on the floor. I would go barefoot to do this, but you take your foot and you're trying to pull that TheraBand in with just your toes. Okay, this works the top of the feet, the bottom of the arch, it works the whole foot in trying to get that all the way in. So that's fun. <laughs> um, those are just some ideas of stuff that you can do. Um, I'll hopefully be sending out some more ideas. I'd like to do some stuff from home, utilizing some of the furniture at home, things like that. So I'll probably be sending in another video.